right guys welcome back to another video today guys i have some nice hot buttermilk biscuits right here i had the taste for them on my birthday so i got up and i got everything that i needed together and i made me a nice pan of hot biscuits so let's jump into this video and i'm gonna show you how i get it done Alrighty guys, so inside of here I have two cups or three cups of self-rising flour. I have some granulated sugar, some buttermilk, and two sticks of unsalted butter. Now I normally use, whenever I use self-rising flour for biscuits, I normally always add an extra teaspoon of baking powder. But I had a brain fart and I didn't add it. <laughs> didn't add it to it so it didn't give my biscuits the lift that I normally would get but it still came out pretty pretty good and I also didn't have my uh, butter flavored Crisco that I like using I normally use one stick of butter and one stick of the Crisco so I'm just going to use two sticks of the unsalted butter Alrighty guys, so I got my two sticks of unsalted butter inside of here. I use unsalted butter because there's salt inside of this self-rising flour. And if you use salted, it is definitely going to taste salty, guys. Trust me, I know this from experience. <laughs> but I just like kind of shaving my butter like this. And you can tell my butter is kind of softened. And that's not exactly what I want, but I had it out since I was... Kind of getting everything together, ready to record. I know some people come in and they break it up really fine, but that's not something that I like to do, guys. I like to leave my butter in nice chunks just like this. I think it makes a much more tender biscuit. All right, so after I get those in nice little chunks, I'm going to come in and add my buttermilk to it. I'm just kind of just freehanding this, but I'll have the exact recipe down in the description of the video. It's going to be about one cup of buttermilk, to three cups of flour. All right, now I'm going to come in and I'm going to add a little bit more buttermilk inside of here. Alright, so once I get that mixed in, that should bring this together. Give this the perfect consistency that I would like. You definitely don't want this too wet, guys. I just want to be able to get this to come together really in not really a ball, but definitely don't want this running or anything. All right, so this is perfect. And when I hold this up, you can see the chunks of butter inside of this. That's going to be a great biscuit right there. I already know. Okay, so I got my surface flowered right here. I'm just going to come in, dump all of my batter out. And then I'm just going to start kind of rolling this out, flattening it out a little bit. Definitely want to make sure you have your surface flowered really well. And right away I can tell I needed to add a little bit more flour to mine. Oh god, my eyes are killing me. I hate when it's starting getting in the allergy season because it does a number on my eyes. <laughs> so this one kind of flatten it out, roll it over, fold it over a few times. That's gonna kind of bulldoze layers. That's going to help you to separate your biscuit so you could add that nice jelly to it that I know you guys like doing. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and just get a little bit more flour on here. I think I'm going to flatten it out. 
really well and I'm going to come in with whatever my hand grabs to cut it out with because I don't use biscuit cutters guys I'm just old school like that and I know someone is going to say don't twist everybody keeps saying don't twist but old habits are hard to break and I'm a twister <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I just always twist my biscuits whenever I cut them out. Yes, you can call me Chubby Checker. <laughs> okay, guys, so you just want to cut these out. And normally I get about anywhere from 10 to 12 with this particular recipe. You could definitely just double it if you want to get more. So I'm going to get one more cut out and then I'll. Uh, put my dough back together and I should be able to get a few more And after I do all of that, I just sprayed my bacon sheet with some bacon spray And I'm just gonna get these lined up All right, and as you can see I have 12 biscuits and a little scrap left because my cousin got so mad when I threw away the scrap once, so ever since then I do not throw away that scrap. But this is going to go in the oven 375 for about 25 minutes. Alrighty guys, these actually took about 15 to 20 minutes. If I was doing 350, then it would take a little bit longer. But these was 375. And I'm just brushing a little butter on the top. All right, and after I get a little bit of butter brushed over the top, guys, I'm going to cover this with a piece of aluminum foil. And after I cover it with foil, then I'm going to come in and put a damp paper towel over it. I always saw my mom use like a damp cloth or something. And she told me that it helps to kind of steam, make steam, and that keeps the biscuits nice and soft and fluffy. So that is something that I continue to do up to this day. But I'm going to let these sit for about 10 minutes and I'll be back and give it a taste test. All right, all right, guys. I am coming in with a taste test. This is my nice buttermilk biscuits. I can just look at these and tell they are absolutely wonderful. But nonetheless... I think I want this one. That one looks good. I think I want this one. Mm -hmm. And Ooh, so tender. So, so tender. Look at that. Nice and hot. I should have let these cool a little bit more, but we're gonna give these a taste test. Oops. Mm -hmm. That's so good. So tender. That buttermilk really makes it nice and soft. Oops, look at that. <laughs> so tender it fell apart. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. All right, all right, guys. Coming in with a quick taste test. This is my smothered neck bones. Buttermilk biscuits. This is all that I wanted for my birthday dinner. So I'm going to come right in. Get me a piece of snack bone. Yep, and I got my spoon. Don't laugh at me. Look at that. Mm. 
I'm telling you guys. You do not have 10, 15, 20 different uh, seasonings on your meat. That's so good. buttermilk biscuit soaking up in that gravy like that mm. Mm -hmm. alrighty guys happy birthday to me <laughs> alright alright guys I was able to get my neck bone taste test in after those cups interrupted me the first time <laughs> and if you guys enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment also subscribe to my channel if you are new and you can follow me on facebook instagram tiktok and twitter cooking and chilling with kenny and guys i will see you in my next video which is going to be some okra fried rice and fried shrimp you know i love my okra and it is coming in okra season so i am definitely excited about that Alrighty guys, peace.